Howdy y'all, good morning. It is morning on the farm. I did uh, fast forward the time. And just a precursor to this video, just so you guys know, it is be this is being recorded immediately after being re my last video being recorded. Uh, so I should have two out. Um, just so you guys know, I didn't mention anything about it in the last video because I didn't actually plan on it until I was done recording that one. But uh, since it is morning on the farm, we'll do the morning chores. We'll come over here and we'll check for eggs right quick. I hope there's not too much frame, like any frame drop or anything like that. Um, I do have the other video loading into Windows Video Editor, whatever. Uh, I might actually stop that because it might be dragging down my CPU a little bit. We'll stop that real quick just so I know there's no like frame drop or anything like that nothing crazy um look at finances real quick what did it look like when we changed over uh, dun, 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 dun. where's our finances maybe it's something else is it something else is there another button oh there it is okay yesterday Loan interest, zero. Do we not have a loan? We have a loan. Maybe you get so, do you get so many days? I think you get so many days where you gotta pay interest, don't you? I don't remember. Um, but yeah, last video I was talking about, you know, what am I gonna do? I can't, you know, I don't know a whole lot to do. Um, I did get to thinking though. And uh, since I did fast forward it into the next day, Field 20 right there is ready and it is corn so we're gonna try to do a corn harvest today and this video is probably gonna have to be edited um, otherwise I'm not gonna end up getting all the harvest in um, which I do want to do uh, so what I'll probably do is I don't know maybe I'll just not edit it I don't know how big the field is. I don't know how long it'll take. You know, there may just be some jumping around here or there if I have to, you know, if I do the whole video and I commentary the whole thing and I feel like it's too long, I might just cut parts of it out. So it'll probably be, you know, if I stop talking for a second, you know, I'll look at it in editing. If I stop talking for a second, then so hopefully I don't do it to where it sounds like the conversation just, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Um, so if it sounds a little bit random at some point, that's that's probably what I've done. Is I didn't cut it at all, or I didn't plan on cutting it, and the next thing you know, the video is like an hour long. Um, well, yeah. Um, let's see. What would be the best way to get there? Um, I guess either way to go would probably be fine. Since we've already got him pulled out here like this, we'll just leave it like that. So, um, that's not very good. We're going to have to fix that. Can't have my header falling off halfway there. I think what we'll do initially is we'll take the combine, the truck with the header trailer, and let's see. We will need... I'll need the auger wagon and the semi with the trailer we'll need. So a four vehicle convoy. I don't know how well it's gonna work. I may need to turn this around. Uh, so that I go the other way instead of trying to go through all the traffic and stuff. Oh yeah, that's why it's messed up, because the trailer's really short. It's you know, I don't know why, but I figured it'd probably be a little bit easier. Um, will that work? Yeah. Uh, the trailer's sliding. That might be... might have something to do with the fact that the trailer is just too small for it. Um, if you guys know, let me know, but I'm pretty sure that's probably what it is. I'll bet the trailer is just simply too small for that. And, of course... 
since the update, I've noticed just a couple of different things. Like the fact that this gate's closed now. Uh, it wasn't closed before, it's just now it's closed since maybe the update or something did that. Because I did have it open. Uh, we'll try to get turned around here, hopefully without knocking that off. Somehow. Look at that turning radius. It's amazing. Um, we'll go ahead and get this set up really quick here. Okay, so I did, you know, I'm going to do a cut right there. Uh, just because it takes me a little bit to get all the vehicles around. I didn't bring the the, uh, the semi, the truck tractor, whatever you want to call it. Uh, because all of it might fit in the grain cart, to be honest. I don't know. I should probably bring the fertilizer spreader. Um, just so our yield's not completely terrible. But I don't know how most people feel about that, you know. A lot of maps actually, you know, I don't know. I always try to spray them if they're not sprayed when you start the map. Just because otherwise you're just kind of wasting time. You know, your, your yield is going to be terrible. Um, actually, can I get them to stop here? Without running into me? Okay, it looks like I can. But, here we go. We'll go ahead and grab this. That way we can... I don't know. I'm going to spread fertilizer on it. You know, if you guys absolutely hate it, then we can talk about it. I mean, really, like I said, you know, the, the yield is so low. That, and look at there. Anyway, yeah, got that unstuck. Got it caught up with everybody. Got it set. And we are away again. Uh, I got three follow me's on, you know, behind me. Hopefully we can make it down there with no major errors or issues not like that uh, it looks like your canola is growing nice getting a nice yield over there uh, I think I started talking about it in the last video but um, I did go to the dairy farm to uh, look at the straw stuff for that guy and found out that I have no silage now so yeah um, the next video uh, is probably going to be cutting grass. I say the next video. The next video will probably still be working on the cornfield. Be planting something else in there. Um, I guess maybe I should... Well, I don't have a corn planter. I don't say maybe I should start planting corn on something, but I don't have a corn planter. Uh, maybe that's what we should shoot for to buy next. Try to get a corn planter. You know. That'd probably be nice to have. What do you guys think? What should I try to buy? Like, what should be my first piece of equipment to buy? Um, should it be a corn planter? Since I do have a corn header. Yeah, see, he changed the silos out. Which, no big deal. They do, they do look better. But, uh, basically it deleted all, this, all the silage. I'm assuming it's the same uh, at the farm. I've probably seen it, I just didn't notice, I guess. Um, it's probably the same at the farm. It's probably the same at the... Oh, at the biogas. I had two silos blanketed at the biogas. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, I don't know. I guess I could just, you know, go into the, uh, go into the game files and actually edit it to where I actually have, uh, silage, but I don't even know if I can actually do that. Um, plus I don't want to. I think that'd probably be really complicated to try to put silage back in the silos. Uh, let's see. We'll be there in just a little bit. Okay, so, yeah. Um, where I said there won't be any editing. Apparently there's going to be a lot of editing. There's going to be a lot of cutting in this video. Because what you didn't just see, what I'm going to end up editing out, is the fact that I actually went and got the track, the, uh, the truck and the trailer. Brought it down here. Uh, I got the fertilizer going. I programmed the overloader to dump in the truck. Because when I got down here and seen how big the field actually is, and it's definitely a lot larger than I was thinking it was, you know, this, this is actually a really big field. I mean, a lot of corn, and I just, it's not going to fit in the truck. I'm probably even going to have to stop at some point and program the, you know, program the course play on the truck to take it up to the farm. 
Or I'll just stop and drive it up there myself. I'm not against that. You know? I do like driving that truck. It is pretty nifty. You know, as long as you slow down. You don't slow down and go around a corner or turn real sharp. It's just going to slide. But that's fairly, you know, in real life it would probably just flip over on me. But I haven't flipped the truck on Sergeant Farming Simulator yet, so not good. Uh, well, I guess I could ask you what you thought about video in the last video, episode 12, I think it was, or 11. I think it was 12. I think this is episode 13. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a lot, of, a lot more editing in this video than I would like. Um, oh well, I mean, it, it happens, you know. Most of it was just get the truck, drive it down here, program the overloader. A lot of it was actually uh, having to get out and get every single vehicle through the gate because you know it was they just they couldn't get through there by themselves because it's a single gate, you know, and uh, so they're having a lot of trouble. And you see, as fast as this thing's already filled up, which this this thing don't have that big of a tank, you know, if we had the bigger the ninety three something or ninety something. Uh, it would take a lot longer to fill it, but since we have the smaller one, I still think it's going to take probably more than one semi load to fill. Like, take this whole field. Cause this is a gigantic field. I didn't think it was this big by looking at the map. I definitely underestimated this, this field. Uh, it says the cedar has finished work. Maybe what we'll do is we'll just stop here real quick. Give him a little bit more time to get in the place. Get this guy. Whoop, nope. I don't know what I just told him to do, but good. Uh, we'll get him off the field. According to course play, he just fertilized the whole field. So we'll kind of see how he did once we get there. I guess we won't know. All of it will be cut off. That's okay. Uh, what's he doing? Okay, he's actually on me now, so that's good. Uh, hopefully the course play is able to actually function. I haven't experienced any trouble with course play yet, or follow me, nothing like that. I wonder if that was one of the wooden bridges he fixed. I know in the patch notes it just said wooden bridges. And I don't know, you know if that's specific to which wooden bridges, or just all of them, or if there's certain ones. Um, so yeah, like I was saying earlier, we don't have any silage, so, uh, which I could be doing this in silage, but we don't have the equipment. You know, the, fa the farm's still fairly new, which reminds me, uh, not that one, that one. I said I was going to start viewing videos of five times speed, uh, because this is episode 13, I think. Uh, so basically it took 12 episodes to get through a whole day on the farm. You know, that means we could do 50 episodes on this farm and still only go through, like, what, like four days or something like that? We're not going to have hardly anything. I mean, you know, the only thing, I, the only reason I don't like having it on five times speed is, you know, it seems like most of the crops are already grown before you ever even get to it. You know, actually, I, want to sell, I don't know. I don't really know what to do. One of those things that I'm just kind of stumped on, I guess. I want to play on normal speed, because it just seems normal, I guess you could say. It seems more realistic than to have fast speed, it's fast speed or whatever. Um, you know, I don't know. I guess I could just play this and, you know, try to do my best to get more equipment and more money, whatever, you know, as fast as I can. You know, if we end up doing a hundred episodes on this map, that's fine. You know, it's not going to bother me. I'm just going to keep doing it probably until people get tired. What I talked about last video is, I need, you know, I'd like to have suggestions. Uh, if you guys want to see, you know, different, different farms, or even different games, you know, if you suggest a game and I already have it, then no problem. Uh, I'll just have to check see if I get monetization rights or whatever, the right to monetize my videos. Um, which farming simulators open monetization on it? Basically, it's you know they have a a thing on their website or whatever that just says you know anybody that wants to do videos can no problem uh, you know, 
obviously if you're going to do videos on a game, don't try to trash the game. You know, don't try to make it look like crap. You know, somebody did, you know, some company did do work on this. Uh, which they did a really good job on Farming Simulator. You know, I think pretty much everybody knows that, though. That they did a, do a great job on this game. Uh, yeah, but if you're ever going to do a video... Is he stuck? Over there, or is he just not telling me he's stuck? This driver requested. What is he doing? He must be stuck. Take your bets. Um... What is he doing? Is it the fact that he drove off the field? I would think it's still requesting them. Wouldn't it? Huh. That's weird. I didn't know it'd do that. You know, I know I got the automatic turned on. Which I could probably... Give me a second. I'll turn that off. So it is. I'll set it to where he's actually... said it's where he's actually programmed to check this combine because apparently I, I, I didn't know that I figured if he even if we went off the field and you request driver he's still going to come to the combine but apparently he's got to be on the field you know, if he's on automatic he has to be on the field um, something I didn't know so if you guys knew that then you're well. but the farm is the farm is kind of growing you know, we haven't really bought any new machinery. You know, we do have that the tracked tractor. So, we did get that. You know, but that was fairly quick. Just because none of our other tractors seemed to do real well with the cedar. Uh, so, we basically bought it so we'd have a, cedar, a good cedar tractor. Um, I am kind of shooting to get another John Deere or something. You know, I got other John Deere mods I'd like to try out and stuff. Um, the big plow cultivator looking thing, uh, you know, it looks like a big cultivator, but it's really just a disc plow or whatever, big disc. Um, I'd like to get that, because you can actually use that to create fields, and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it is this. Look, it's 10 meters wide, it look, it's a big disc, you know. But it's in the plow section because you can actually plow with it. So it's basically a 10 meter plow that you can create fields with. But if you look at it, it requires 400 horsepower to do it. So in my test map, I was pulling it with this. Because this one doesn't have a three point hitch, like three point hookup or whatever. Uh, so I would like to get that on this, this game pretty soon so I can start plowing fields. Uh, like I keep saying, but I do, I would like to have that before I start plowing fields. Because using a normal plow to create a field, it just takes so long. I understand it takes a long time in real life, but on a game it just seems that much longer. Because in real life, I, I just, I get so excited because I'm sitting there just staring at the plow and, you know, watching it. you got to sit there and watch it the whole time to make sure you're not digging rocks up out of the ground. And, you know, if you're not flipping a plow you know, turning a plow or whatever you call it. Uh, but like on the game, it's, it's not as immersive, you know. Um, you can sit there and go you know, up and down a field, up and down a field, and it's just, all it's doing is changing the ground texture. You're not actually worried about, you know, am I gonna flip a plow, am I gonna pull a rock? You know, am I gonna dig up some dead body or something crazy, you know? Uh, there's just more excitement in real life, obviously. So, plowing and farming simulator, I'm not really a fan. Well, I could definitely probably just do without the plowing completely. Uh, so if we could end up buying that 10 meter plow, that'd be great. Now it doesn't look like we're gonna, we're definitely not gonna get through this field in this video. Uh, so the next video is definitely gonna be more combine and more harvest and more corn harvest. And uh, as much as I know people normally uh, chaff corn, in this game you know uh, I've talked about that before 
Uh, I can. I, I might chaff some corn at some point on Farm Simulator. You know, but for the most part, I don't really see too many people chaff corn. You know, I've seen it a couple of times, but, you know, 99% of the time, they're harvesting the corn. Because the corn is worth a lot of money. You know, uh, you don't see a whole lot of chaffing corn. Uh, if they do, normally it's just like they'll chaff the out, like, you know, the headlands or whatever. They'll, do, they'll chaff like three or four headlands or two or three headlands uh, on a cornfield. And then they'll, they'll harvest the rest of it. You know, you don't just chaff a whole field. You know, at least not where I live. You know, nobody, like, most people don't chaff a whole field. But I can. But just, you know, for the realism's sake and the fact that I like combining corn probably going to be mostly harvesting corn, you know, for the corn, you know, just for harvest sakes, I guess, I don't really want to disappoint anybody, but I, I do like the corn harvest aspect, you know, I love seeing it in real life, um, on the game, it's a little this and that, you know, the little wiggly stalks going into the header, you know, aren't necessarily as appealing, you know, it's not as realistic. Oh, I'm gonna hit my map turn off. There it is. Uh, but you know, I I I can do my best. You know, for what you guys want to see. But just remember, as much as I'm making these videos for you, so that you guys enjoy watching them and want to watch them, I am still having to play the game. So there has to be, you know, there has to be enjoyment on my side as well. Because I am just doing it for fun. You know, I'm not making a bunch of money. I'm not making any money. You know, as far as that goes. Uh, and even if I do, all I'm going to do is just put it back into the videos. You know, I'm going to, you know, maybe buy a new microphone, buy a new game, buy a new recording software. You know, something like that. Uh... You know, it'll just keep going into my computer and into the software and, you know, whatnot. Um, so, I'm not out to profit off of it, basically, I'm trying to say. Um, but I do want to be, you know, I do want to be able to enjoy it. You know, play the game like I want to play the game. Because, to me, I'm playing it so that you guys will enjoy watching it. But I'm also playing it because I enjoy playing it. You know, if I don't enjoy playing it, I'm probably not going to do as many videos. But I do try to play it, you know, like I like to play it. Well, so let's you know, try to do it like you guys like to watch it, too. Um, I think we'll do one more pass. You know, we'll complete our third headland, which Reed's probably good enough. He's going to turn around and go dump. He should, isn't he? Uh, we'll do the complete the third headland and then we'll probably call it a video. Um, obviously, you guys know because you can see where the end of the video is about to be. Uh, which I don't know. You know, you guys click off. Like when I say, you know, the end of the video is coming up, do you now click off? You know, have I just lost a bunch of people off the video? If you're still watching this video, uh, comment and say, hey, I didn't click off when you said the end of the video is about to end. Just for the fun of it. Just, I'd like to see how many people actually click off. Because if they do, then I'll just stop saying that. Uh, but, you know, maybe I'll, you know, if I find out a bunch of people are clicking off of it, you know, if you're still in the video right now, maybe at some point I'll, like, you know, save up some money or whatever. And then I'll give away a prize. Like, I'll say... You know, about five minutes before I know the video is going to end, I'll say, hey, the video is about to end. And then I'll wait like 30 seconds later. And then I'll say, hey, if you're still watching this comment, such and such, and the, you know, put this comment below, and then I'll give you a prize or something like that. I don't know. I, I think that would be cool, but like I said, I, got, I don't have to save up money for it. And I'm not saying that's what I'm going to do. But nobody, like, you know, get your panties in a bunch or whatever you want to call it if I don't. Uh, I'm, I'm, for you know, lack of a better explanation, I'm kind of kind of strapped for cash at the moment, um, just because I'm trying to remodel a house and do some other stuff at the same time. Uh, 
Not to say I'm broke. Don't, don't get that, you know, thought in your head. Um, and, you know, I'm just stretched, if you want to call it. Um, but anyway, on a better note, um, uh, I don't really know what else to talk about, because, like, I'm, I'm doing both these videos at the same time, so I don't want to really talk about the same stuff. You know, I got in a couple new subscribers yesterday. I had one subscriber leave today, which I know his name, but I'm not going to say it. Because uh, it's not a big deal. Um, I appreciate all the subscribers. You know, if you want to unsubscribe, I'll, at this point, I'll know who you are, but that's not a big deal. Um, it's probably just because I'm not uploading videos on a regular basis at the moment. You know, I really appreciate all you guys that are sticking in there with me. You know, I know, I don't know that it'd be tough, necessarily. You know, but it's just like, when you subscribe to a channel, you want to see videos. That's the reason you click the button. Um, so I appreciate everybody that's sticking in there with me. And, uh, just having patience. And, you know, not running off because I'm not uploading you know, videos every second. Um, yeah, just thank you guys. You know, as much as I can say it, thank you very much. Um for watching my videos, for subscribing, for liking, for commenting, for talking to me. You know, my wife just gets shocked every day when I tell her, hey, I got a comment that said this, and I got, you know, this many subscribers now, and, you know, it's just exciting. I mean, I, I always say I'm excited by the little stuff, but it's, I'm not necessarily an optimistic person all the time, uh, but I get excited about stuff like this just because it kind of shocks me that people actually want to watch, you know, watch me make videos. If I can just really confuse this guy. Mess up his whole world because I turned really tight. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, I get really shocked, you know, that people especially as many people have to even hit the subscribe button even now I get shocked you know that that many people want to watch like I was talking about last video I'm now over a thousand views on my channel like total views on my channel is over a thousand you know and court farms is really popular right now you know and but I'm really wanting to pick up a new map or pick up mod reviews or you know, something to where it'll give my channel a little bit more as far as content goes. You know. Uh, so if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Um, I will try to get another one out as soon as I can. I'm going to be busy in the next few days. So I'm doing two of these at the moment. So... Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. Leave me a like. Uh, subscribe. Uh, dislike it if you want to. Explain why you don't like it. And I will try to fix it. So this is the Butcher Man saying have a good night. Thank you.